Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Pokemon Jaw. The Dragon Cup is ending in at 5 o'clock UTC for me, that's tomorrow. And this is going to be my last battle. And what better battle for it to be than my 200th win. Um, ended the tournament probably around, oh well, I ended around 300 to 300, 400 once the rankings change overnight, probably. Um, but got to 200 was happy with that i've just kind of been playing on and off with whilst doing other stuff today so i haven't been focusing on it seriously but last night was was pretty much having to get to 200 really focusing on the matches so really happy with that uh it's, it's an upgrade on last tournament which was 700 my first tournament gym cup was a rank 501 so good signs good signs that my rank is going up and also obviously got that battle between the number one player which was, was was satisfying to beat him. Um, so let's do this. Let's battle. Let's do our final battle. Hopefully this will be the final battle. Still rocking my round deck. I've just loved this deck. It's just been so powerful, and I really like Wigglytuff's ability to block people from using plates because it allows you to, you know, once I tactically learned that in terms of blocking people from rushing you and doing just hurdle jump made a big difference to my 2 MP deck. Um, Vibrive has been a great holding Pokemon. Loving the evolution to uh, Flygon. Really, really love Draco Meteor. Such a good move. The amount of times that I've been standing in front of goal and they've initiated battle, attack me. Then the person standing on the goal, I've used Draco Meteor on them. They've hit a 70 attack and you just jump onto the goal on your next go. Really, really satisfying. So hopefully it's going to be a deck that you know, it's worthy of a final battle and will show off some degree of skill, hopefully not too easy a squad. Okay, right, so the final deck is a Deoxys deck. My least favorite deck to play against with the round deck, but I'm just gonna show you how it's done, hopefully. It's long, it's grueling, and <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this at all, but let's do this. So it's all about defense, all about having the time advantage at the start. Cosmo Energy coming in, and Vibrava has to take up that holding position. So those runners can't put my goal under threat immediately. And then it's just about blocking on either side. Now if I'm lucky, I'll get the early long throw attack. Uh, at a rank of 2343, three, I don't think this guy is going to fall for it. second advantage here so hopefully that will be enough and here comes the fun part the part where we go back and forth <laughs> because I'm not initiating a battle with this guy he's just gonna put his defense in there and I can't match it if I'm lucky he's gonna go in against my Take, take my Vibrava, I, I am done with you guys. Done. Done with you guys. Just going for that clutch. Hitting this thing against the counter. Oh, he's gone for the dimensional slip. <laughs> he's hit the dimensional slip. He's gone. He is out of there. I've gone for a rush. And he's just kept the de de defense deoxys out there. This is a sing or a dimensional slip for the win. <laughs> or a round. Oh, I've got 66% chance at hitting something good. And I hit the sing. 
That was not good. It was not impressive, but it did the business and clutches me that win. Do not play like that. It was a, a absolute just what's it called? Just a leap of faith, <laughs> like jumping up a building where like I knew I was gonna fall, um, and there was a one percent chance of me. That, that was, it really should have switched there. You do not need to switch your defense against a Williamson. But that's my 11th booster and my 200th win and we are done for the Dragon Gym Club. I've really enjoyed it, i really enjoyed the boost to the fairies, I am I'm looking forward to getting back to my league deck. I've missed Sapdos, I've missed Sapdos yellow discs, the amount of purple discs I've been facing trying to counter me with this deck, and I'm just sick of not being able to, to, to really hand it to them with Zapdos' 101 thunder. Uh, so I can't wait back to get back to him. So, 11th consecutive win. Let's let's get. Can we end on a rainbow? Can we end on a rainbow? We cannot. We're ending on rare with probably one of the worst rares. I'm mild though. So we are rating, but it's just not great. And a lot of rare cubes. So how have we ended for the Dragon Gym Cup? If we go to my fusion pretty damn good for rare cubes I wanted to my plan was 100 wins I was gonna get rare cubes and put them into my players to make them strong and then I was going to save the 100 to 200 save my rare cubes and keep them ready for the next gym cup ready to put into some rares and it's looking good nine that's kind of the perfect that's not nine <laughs> that's nine no that's eight that's Damn, that's hard to do. <laughs> that's nine. Nine rare cubes, and they can, that's what, that's three chain evolutions, which means if there is a rare type that's really good for the next gym cup, that means I can boost three of those. Um, so that's good. That's perfect for the next gym cup. Lots of rare, um, 11 rare EXP cubes, so that's pretty good. And three. 3EX um, 3EX blue cubes and still got a lot of, lot of cubes I put that one into the, the power deoxys I put that one into the attack deoxys um, during the, the competition challenge this week and that leaves me with 6 so this this tournament has not been about EXs really deoxys as an EX has definitely been new Reuniqueness has definitely been a, a hard hitter the Deoxys deck has been a killer and the round deck, but there has been a lot of good counters in there. Some Reshram Zekrom decks, some, some decks with, with Lucario, Kirlia with Guard of Wire Evolution. Dragonite has definitely made a feature in this tournament and with it hasn't been I think I gave it too harsh an appraisal maybe uh, with the, the Dragonite Evolution. Thanks to you guys for pointing out that you can shed skin um, and undo that paralyzed but still I'm not I'm not decided for this tournament or every time we used him there, there was like a 50% chance that I was gonna evolve him in a match and then get that use for Dragon Eye but once evolved this guy's really really powerful so you know I'm looking forward to most of it will be the time that he gets plus 20 Dragon Tower 110 extreme speed 70 without evolution evolving from uh, Dragon Air this guy's gonna be a really, really strong killer in that tournament. So, it's been a really good gym club. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and had some luck too. What I'm gonna be doing now is compiling all those op openings that I've got and giving you some stats on that. If you guys have got stats in terms of, you know, the exact, um, the next exact ratio of EXs, rares, on commons you've pulled from boxes post a comment below with those stats that will really help what I can do then is I can compile them all together and we can have a good idea of what the actual ratios of, of getting some pulls are I've, I've definitely have been lucky I feel like this tournament 10 EX's in total out of 10 EX's out of 15 boosters that's a 66 percent hit rate of every 11 consecutive win booster so really happy with that let me let me know how you guys have got on uh, really interested to know that 
like I say, once we've got all that data, put it all together and let you guys know what the results are. Okay, that's all from me. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, make sure to hit that like button. So here are my booster highlights from the 100 to 200 openings. Enjoy.